existing. Another is eternal. Our ancients were seeking eternal knowledge. What is the difference between these two? You are putting a question to me. Yes. What are the philosophers of our country? Not philosophers. Uh. Practical scientists, I am asking this question. What, who are the scientists? I have not understood the scientists yet. That was what I was telling in the uh -huh. beginning. If you say they are experimental scientists, they are not proof seekers. No, no, no. Experimental scientists can find the proof. They must meet both together. That is our ancient science. I tell you, again, you are tending towards philosophical science. No, no, no. Yes, no. I tell you. For example, Aristotle, Black Hole, you are bringing...
Kramamana Ramos today, 2202 Yojana, the time of 1 by 2 of a Nimisha. Nimisha, he has divided, come back, he will get the answer that 2.97 lakh is the velocity explained by Sayana Acharya, who worked in Vijayanagara Samrajya 170 years before Sir Isaac Newton. If we would have given this answer, I'm sure this is not every, almost many things are available here. Literally speaking, so many, so much is available here. Almost all the questions answered here, I mean, all the questions asked here, can be directly connected with the Sanskrit. We need not interpret or interpret on all these slides. And the person was asking, we put all the theorems, say <coughs> these are discovered. Yes, sin theta, cos theta discovered by Indians. Chapa chadatta thalado vidatva, chapa hadat vyadi hadat primavya, lepta yukmani malanyado dat, chapa da yukmani chavistaratha, vinyasya jo vali uparitya je, tat che shau, puja ar sai theta, kodi ar cos theta, how gunau bhaveta. Leverage theorem discovered Vargai Yujamba, Vigunai Nireka, Vargi Yuta, 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 Vargi if you do not have time to read all this. All these subject matters are brought in 17 English cassettes and 17 mathematics and uh, Malayalam cassettes. None of the cassettes has got copyright. You can take copy, distribute it. When you go up, Chitra Gupta will ask what you have done in the <laughs> At that time, you have distributed. <laughs> so, everything is available in English translation outside. Now I will be, he has given me 40 minutes, of which 7 minutes over, I have got 33 minutes. I have not to see you, you all get projected. The chemistry book, chemistry in Sanskrit, about 20 copies given here, outside it is available. I will just read, I hope this is Sanskrit, since it is Sanskrit department, you can understand the Sanskrit. Two unfortunate things happened for me. One I missed my specs outside, so the overhead projector is not here. <laughs> oh great. Statement by statement only I will be telling. The approach on chemistry given by Nagarjuna 1200 years ago in Rasadatma Samuchayam Sixth line, second chapter. Na krame na vina shastram, na shastre na vina krama, shastram kramayudam nyatwa, yakkarodi sasiddhi ba. Science is what is approached to systematic way. <coughs> systematic approach is required for science. Scientific approach is required for systematic learning. Without systematic approach, Without scientific approach, you cannot teach anywhere. The philosophy of chemistry given. Nagha Krundanena Sarvam Karsnayasam Vijnatam Karsnayasam Ittyena Satyam If somebody is explaining to you that there existed a nail cutter made of iron, it already means that there existed a technology for extracting iron because if iron extraction could not have been performed, nail cutter could not have been made. So the philosophy in science is mentioned. I hope about 70% of the students here know Sanskrit. A laboratory, Rasashala, described in Rasaratma Samuchaya again 12 centuries ago. Atanga Rishite Deshe Dharma Rajye Manohrame 
उमा महेश्वरो वेदे समृद्धे नगरे सुभे कर्तव्यं साधनं तत्र रस राजस्य धीमता अत्यन्तो पवने रम्ये चतुर द्वारो पशो भिदे तत्र शाला प्रकर्तव्या सुविस्तीर्ना मनोरमा सम्यक वादायनो वेदा दिव्य चित्रयर विचित्रता तत्समीपे समेदीपे कर्तव्यं नसमंदबं अतिगुप्तं सुविस्तीर्नं कपालार गलशोभितं त्वज चत्र पितानाट्या पुष्पमाला विलंबितं बेदी कालगंडादी सुरंगी नाद विनादितं भूगु समातत्र कर्तव्या सुद्रिडा तर्पणोपमा तन्मध्ये वेदिकारम्या कर्तव्या लक्षनार्मिता This is the definition of a laboratory given in India these many years ago. A spacious place where a laboratory can be established, a good king should be there. I don't know, present we have got any good kings. A good king where rulings are done very perfectly based on Dharma Shastra. Spacious land is taken, four openings are required and a spacious building is constructed. Again, four doors are required. Wind should blow inside. Enough light should come in there. And every chemical should be kept very seriously. Handling should be done very systematically. In that place, everything should have enough doors for keeping the chemicals inside. There you should have a resumant of a working table. There you have to establish a laboratory. So the knowledge of laboratory existed here and the yantras, the equipment used in a laboratory and give few numbers. If the overhead projector would have been there, all the 25 instruments would have been shown to you. Dola yantra, distillation equipment, adhapadana yantra, swedana yantra, padana yantra, sublimation equipment, deepaka yantra, heating equipment, heshi yantra, filtration equipment, jarana yantra, concentrating equipment, vidyadara yantra, extracting equipment, and somanala yantra, cooling equipment, and so on. We have used more than two dozen equipment in the laboratory. Next one, what is the definition for a chemistry scholar? All so many scholars are working for their PhD. So the definition of the scholar, Guru Bhakta, Sadachara, Satyavando, Dridhavrata, Niralasya, Swadharmatya, Sada, Atnyavaripalaka, Dhamma, Matsarya, Nirmukta, Kula, Acharesu Dikshita, Atyanda, Sadhaka, Shanda, Mandra, Aradhana, Dalpara, Ityevam, Lakshana, Yurukta, Shishya, Sihu, Sudha, Siddha, Yeh. Should I explain the meaning? Not necessary? Is it required? For somebody? Sudha, Siddha, for handling the chemicals. Sudha, Siddha, Yeh, Mercury, and other chemicals. So, a scholar of uh, chemistry, it is mentioned exactly like this. I hope I have a comment for all, not only for this. It is given in the Sarathna Samuchayam. Right. So, the Sarathna Samuchayam is written by Nagarjuna, connected with chemistry only. What is that? So, what is the quality required for a laboratory assistant? You know about laboratory assistant, I am sure. Sahaya, that means assistant. Sa, Udhyamas Tatra, Tata. Shishyas tato adhika The quality of a assistant should be slightly higher than the scholar Because it is having a Tato adhika Adhika Kulina He should be noble That is very important Swami Bhakta Ascha He did not explain because he is assistant now So Swami Bhakta that is very important 
Pamibhaktasya Kartavya Rasakarmani He should be devoted in handling all these Rasapaks and Whenever he handles his chemicals He should be very serious because chemicals are really dangerous So an assistant is clearly defined here Next one, I would like to give only few examples because now I have got 25 minutes only. <laughs> so I will go there. Uh, uh, should I should I take the other one? Not required. No, and other one is all. Now you see, when we explain something, <coughs> seriously they were looking into every aspect. One thing about that thing. Being mental, that was known to have alpha and beta isomers. Ancient Indians, as I told you, thousand years ago, could identify alpha P and beta P so perfectly. Modern science tells you that alpha P and beta P changes at 37.2 more formation. Is clear? Yeah. Guragam, Mr. Agam, are two types of pin. One is known as Guragam, other is known as Mr. Agam. Guragam, Tatra Gunai Sreshtam. Guragam is Alpha team, which is just got metallic, south, clean, perfectly pure. Visharakam, na, hitam, matam. Visharakam is not that good quality. Dhamalam, Madhulam, Srikdam, Drutadravam, Sakaulyavam, Nishabdam, Guravangam. So, Alpha team's quality is given exactly in agreement with the modern description. Yeah, Mishragam, Shyama Shukragam, Mishragam tin is slightly blackish in color. I showed this example just to, to inform you that how carefully they could analyze two allotropic forms of tin. Modern science could understand this difference only after 1938. You want that? Yes. 24 instruments? Yes. They are not in the photograph. Victor, how they look like? The names are there. The names are there. The names are there. The names are there. The names very okay. Any Ayurveda book has got a picture of that. Okay. So here, Dola Yandra, Shredana Yandra. So now, we are just coming to another similar topic. How the iron is classified. We all know trace of difference of carbon and silicon plus vanadium can make iron possessing entirely different qualities. Ancient Indians could bring the temperature up to 1450 degree centigrade during a period when coke or coal was not available. With that, they could produce a large quantity of iron and you may be remembering the iron in Mahalauri, Delhi Villa, Delhi Iron Villa, 7 ton weighing, 21 feet high, and it has not got rust, even though parliament is near in Delhi. Rusting, <laughs> no corrosion has taken place. But they could make that iron so perfectly free from the rust. Japanese scientists conducted experiment last year using NTT, non-destructive testing method, and proved that it has got iron phosphate coating up to a thickness of 50 microns. That is why it is not rusting. The coating is not given after independence. It is given 1,800 years ago. So classification of iron. I hope you are also pronouncing iron only, not iron. 